Hello there, this is Jason Onx from Onx Woodwind Specialist and today I just wanted to show you a quick video on how I feel you should uh, swab your oboe. Um, I recommend using silk swabs. Uh, you want to stay away from any type of material uh, that's cotton-like, so a cotton swab or anything fuzzy, uh, you want to stay away from that. Uh, if you use cotton, uh, you're going to get lots of lint inside the oboe and um, so we want to avoid that at all cost. So today I've got a pull-through silk swab made for an oboe. This particular swab um, is the Hodge brand and they are making their swabs with a string on both ends. And the reason they do that is just in case the swab gets stuck you have a chance to take the oboe back apart and pull the swab from, this, from the, uh, the second end. So I'll demonstrate. Uh, the first thing you do before you put the swab in the oboe is to make sure there are no knots. And so right now I'm examining the, examining the swab and there are no knots. So that's the very first thing you do to ensure that you don't get a swab stuck in your oboe. So here's my oboe. And so now that I know it doesn't have knots, the oboe is together and we'll stick the weighted end through the bell very slowly through the oboe and then it comes out the top of the oboe where the reed well is. And once you have it that far you'll again double check make sure there's no knots and then we'll turn it around and we'll pull very slowly pull the, uh, the swab the rest of the way through. If you pull slowly you're almost 99 percent of the time guaranteed that it will not get stuck. If we do this again, and you try to pull it fast or jerk it, I've seen many times, many instances where the swab will actually tangle up on itself and then the swab will get stuck. And so let's pretend that that just got stuck and if it did, uh, anytime you feel too much uh, tug on it and you think it's stuck, stop pulling. Do not continue to pull, it'll make it worse. And so this one, if we're pretending that it's stuck, at this point I'll go ahead and take the upper joint and the lower joint apart. And let's go ahead and pretend that it's stuck. So if it was stuck like this, now that this string is on the other end, I can go ahead and just pull that right back out. So if you're going to use a pull-through silk swab, I recommend getting one with a string on both ends. And then an alternative method, which will almost guarantee that you never get your swab stuck, is just to put the swab through the reed receiver end. If you do it this way and pull it through slowly, I've seen people do that, and that way almost guarantees that you never get your swab stuck. So if you uh, use those uh, few precautions, make sure that the uh, swab is, uh, doesn't have knots, and when you put it through, pull very slowly or pull from the reed receiver end. Uh, you'll have really great success in not getting your swab stuck in your oboe. And there is one other uh, type of swab. This is a silk non-pull through swab. And so if you want to use this type of swab, then it will never get stuck because it's not supposed to pull through anyway. So this one you just pull through until it snugs up and then there's still enough uh, left that you pull it back out uh, through the bell. So those are just a few techniques that you can use to help ensure that your swab does not get stuck in your oboe. This also pertains to clarinets. So if you're using a clarinet or if you play clarinet and you have a pull through clarinet silk swab Follow the same procedure, uh, make sure there's no knots and pull very slowly and that'll help you not get that swab stuck in the clarinet or the oboe. Um, please visit our website at www.onxwoodwindspecialist.com and uh, you'll find resources on the resources page. There are blog articles. We also have a new YouTube channel as you know watching here and those uh, videos are also posted on the website. And please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We appreciate your attention today, 
and uh, look forward to serving you soon.